Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to a really fun video. While I am recording this voiceover, it is currently snowing outside and cold, so this video is perfect. I have some great cold weather recipes for you all. So we're gonna start off with a snickerdoodle latte and I wanted to make this video user-friendly, basically that anyone could make these recipes. So I'm giving you a few different ways that you can make them. And this is a little stovetop espresso pot. So you do not have to have an espresso machine or break the bank for an espresso machine. So I'm just using this espresso roast and basically all you have to do is take this little pot apart and it has a little piece on the inside where you put the coffee grounds. I will be sure to link this one below. This is a two shot pot so it makes two um, espresso shots at a time which is really all you need for a drink. The first thing that you'll do is take it apart and then you'll add the water inside just below the little valve which you'll see here in a second. Then you'll put the middle piece in and you can put in your espresso. And I just go ahead and fill up the whole little container. I'm sure you could do certain measurements but this is just how I use mine. So you'll see here, there is a little seal on the inside. Of course, mine's kind of coffee colored from using this. And then you'll just wanna screw it on and make sure it's snug so you don't have any coffee squirting out the sides. Another little tip I have for you is to make sure that you set your little espresso pot kind of to the side of the burner so the handle doesn't get hot. Okay, so this is a great little frother and it does heat your milk as well. You can make hot foam with this or cold foam with this. And I actually loved it so much I got one for my mom because she is a coffee drinker as well. And I'm gonna show you both a hot foam and a cold foam in this video. So all you have to do is put your milk on the inside and all of the milk and creamers I used in this video are dairy free so this is a dairy free half and half that I put in and then you just press the button really quickly it will turn red and it will do the job for you here I'm showing you what the inside of the espresso pot looks like sometimes it kind of sputters around and if you don't want it to get everywhere you might want to close the lid This cup is a great Amazon find. I had showed you all recently in another video and I just put a tablespoon of brown sugar in the bottom. Then I added a sprinkle of nutmeg and also a sprinkle of cinnamon. I did a little more cinnamon than the nutmeg. Next, I went ahead and put about a shot and a half or so of the espresso. Then I added in my nice frothy cream that I had frothed up in the frother. I used a paper towel to try to do about half of the top of it with cinnamon to mimic a snickerdoodle and then I added a nice little gluten-free snickerdoodle on the side and to be honest you guys this was my personal favorite recipe out of this whole video and it is so delicious. Next I'm going to give you guys a great turtle coffee and this one was really really simple and I managed to find these two sugar-free syrups for this so it is keto friendly and I tried my best to kind of drizzle the syrups on the inside. I think if you had syrups that were not sugar-free they would stick to the inside of your cup a little bit better but either way turtle candies are gooey and messy so I felt like this coffee could be a little messy and still mimic the candies really well. 
Of course, turtle candies are made with caramel and chocolate and nuts. So that is what I wanted to incorporate in this recipe. So in the bottom, I put some cream. I just used, again, my dairy-free half and half. And then I went ahead and made a regular cup of coffee to add in. I wanted to give you guys easy recipes that you didn't need a bunch of fancy things for. I loaded on the whipped cream and you can easily find dairy-free whipped cream and then I put some pecans on the top and as I was filming this I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and be really extra <laughs> and pour a whole bunch of caramel syrup all over the top of it. So even on cold days, I still enjoy iced coffee and one of my personal favorite drinks to order when I'm at a coffee shop is a iced white peppermint mocha. So I got the pleasant surprise of getting this espresso machine for Christmas and I was so excited because I had already planned to do this video. I was going to use my little stovetop espresso maker, but I decided, you know what, now I have my machine, I can go ahead and do it this way. So this cup is again from Amazon. I love this cup so much and I just put some ice in the bottom and then I found this white chocolate syrup at Walmart. I drizzled some of that in, put a few drops of peppermint extract and then I went ahead and added my espresso shots. You could easily do this with a cold brew as well. After that, I filled up the rest of the cup with some almond milk, and then on the top, I used some more of my half and half um, just to give it an extra creamy um, consistency, and then I put some whipped cream and a little bit of candy canes, and it was really, really great. You can obviously make this as sweet as you want, or you can cut back on the amount of white chocolate syrup. This idea is so stinking simple, but it was so worth it and really, really good. And by the way, I was way over caffeinated by the end of this video and <laughs> tasting all of these. But again, I just went ahead and made some espresso shots and I just got these little shot cups as well for this and I think they're so cute. And I just put a nice big dollop of Nutella in the bottom of the cup and also, you better believe I licked off the spoon. Who can leave a spoon of Nutella unlicked, right? Oh, so delicious. And then I added the espresso shots right in and stirred it around to kind of dissolve the Nutella. Then I used the little steamer on the side of my espresso machine. I'm giving you guys so many options today. Um, and I just steamed up some of my dairy-free half and half, dumped that in on top, and you have the perfect Nutella latte. And because I was being extra, because <laughs> I was having so much fun, I did drizzle some chocolate syrup over the top of it. Okay, so this is a cold brew pitcher and it's a recent Amazon find for me. I love it so much. It is really easy to make cold brew and this makes it extremely simple. So you have this little mesh part in the middle of the pitcher and this is in storage mode, but when you're actually making the cold brew, you just fill that middle console center part with your dark roast coffee grounds. You let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. Then you pull it out and dump out the grounds in the morning and you can just store that middle part in there just like that and you will have cold brew. So it's really that simple and I will try to remember to leave the grounds that I like to use to make my cold brew in the description below. So now we're gonna make a maple waffle cold brew 
with oat milk cold foam. I know, it's a total mouthful, <laughs> but it's really, really good. And I wanted to do a maple waffle something because that is a flavor that I really enjoy. So first I put ice in the glass, then I added the cold brew on top and just filled it up. And I don't dilute my cold brew. Some people add water, but I just eat, um, drink it the way that it is when it's done being made. I added some maple flavoring and then of course I used my vanilla stevia so this is very keto friendly and I went back to my frother to show you guys how to make cold foam so I added some oat milk creamer this is a new find for me I love it it's so delicious I love the flavor and then with this machine you hold in the button until it turns blue and then it will make cold foam instead of the hot and it just whips it right up in there and you'll see how creamy it is here as I'm pouring it over top of the cold brew. And then just for fun, I added a mini waffle and of course you gotta have a straw in there and then you can just enjoy. This video was absolutely one of my all time favorite videos to make, I loved it so much. Let me know in the comments which coffee you thought looked the best, subscribe if you're new. Also let me know if you want me to make another video like this, it was so much fun. And leave me a comment, that always helps me out and I'll see you guys in my next video.